This is infection free zone. This game is amazing. You can choose anywhere in the world, like New York City, and say, yes, I want to survive there. This is where I want to survive the zombie apocalypse. And the game might say, are you sure it's very densely populated? You're gonna die. And you think, okay. Well, what about an area that I know? An area that I grew up? Like the Tampa Bay area of Florida? No. And you think, well, what about where I live now? I live in Raleigh. Maybe I should choose that. Might as well learn it in case the zombie apocalypse breaks out. And no, that's a terrible idea too. What you need to do is pull up Google and search Bastion Fort. Because a Bastion Fort is a star fortress. Like, look at this one. It's a Bastion Fortress on the edge of a peninsula. We're going to inhabit this Bastion Fortress right here. Fort Monroe, Virginia. And we are going to use this to survive the zombie apocalypse. Now, the first thing we need to do is find a building to make our headquarters. This one looks pretty good. It's got a pretty good area of coverage around it look at that see that green circle that's all the area we can shoot so first things first we need to recruit a few more squads and search the buildings around us this might be the smallest house on our island oh there's like no resources in some of these houses we are getting a little bit unlucky but what we're gonna do is we're gonna search and secure every building in our bastion fortress and then we're gonna make our way out into the surrounding area, search these buildings, and then eventually cross the big highway bridge into the city. But there's a lot of area in here that we can chop down trees, and we could eventually set up some pretty good farms. So we found some resources here, and we're bringing them back to base. This one looks like we've got cans of food and some ammunition. That building has some fuel, and these guys are bringing back a bunch of it. At some point, we're going to be looking for a car. Once we get a car, we can really go out to start looting resources. So they're saying we need to search some shops or warehouses. Oh, looks like we've got some fuel buildings over here. Oh, and look at this. Looks like we've got an abandoned restaurant over here. And this is Firehouse Coffee. Unbelievable. There is, we are going to be stocked on fuel. I'll tell you what. Ooh, and we have some local police stations. We've got a decent amount of loot around us. Now, one of the things to do and keep in mind is the fact that once it's nighttime, the zombies come out. During the day, it's pretty much our time unless we search a building that is occupied by zombies. So it looks like we found a gun when we found some fuel. Oh, this building had a ton of good resources. So it's nighttime, so we're gonna pull everybody back to base, and we're gonna hope this passes without incident. Now keep in mind, we've got a pretty good area of fire, and it looks like there's some zombies on the other side of the river. So as long as they don't come in, we do have these fortified walls, but I'm curious to see how the zombies react to them. We also have these bodies of water, like sort of moats, because this is a bastion fortress. And it's just past midnight. Oh my gosh, that is a decent amount of zombies over there. All right, so it's time to build our first bit of defense. And we've got wooden towers, and we can use that with 10 wooden logs. Oh, this is really nice. I think we'd want a few of these. And I think at first we should put it close to the base within its area of cover so that they can help each other out. And we're gonna wanna chop some trees down. Fortunately, we have a decent amount of trees actually around us. Wow, look at how many trees that is. Okay, signs of smoke. So we don't know if these people are good or bad, if they'll try to hurt us or they'll wanna join us. But our first tower's done. And we need to adapt a few more buildings for living shelters. Now, one of the things I'd really, really like to find is food but in the form, not in like canned goods necessarily, but seeds. Now it's nighttime. Oh shoot, there's a big horde of zombies and it looks like they're headed our way actually. Wait a minute, are they gonna break down these walls? There's no way they can get through these stone walls, right? Get ready to defend the zone. If they break this, I'm gonna be really annoyed about that. Oh, look at the hit points just collapsing right now. We have a maritime siege in Fort Monroe. Can these four people, look at this, we got Willie Rodriguez. Can you shoot them? Oh, never mind. There's another horde coming in from what looks like the north. Now, we actually want you on a bow and arrow since you don't have a gun. We're shooting them down pretty decently. Hopefully they have some loot on them. And these ones just destroyed that wall section. So while we do have fortifications, these zombies, if 
left to their own devices can take them down relatively quickly. So I think what we'll want to do is put some towers around this wall section during the day and then maybe double it up because it looks like we can build walls of our own all the way up to metal and brick fences. Remember that we need to fortify this bastion and now all the zombies are smart and just know to go for the gap in the wall. Okay, that's a little bit scary. But I think we survived the night and the only thing I'm really worried about is the fact that we used up a decent amount of ammunition. And I'm gonna convert these two buildings into houses. Now that's not too far away. I'm actually gonna send two squads to deal with that. Now. Are we actually gonna swim across the water? I guess for whatever reason, the map generation decided, yeah, there's a wall in front of this bridge. So we're gonna have to swim until we can tear these walls down. Shouldn't there be two squads? Are they doubled up on each other in the water? Yeah, okay, there we go. They're just occupying the same space. This game is amazing in its map generation. There's some other little things that I think could be done a little bit differently, but it's pretty good all around. All right, so this little house is like tucked into the backside of this T building, and we're gonna see if there's people in there that wanna join us. If not, at least we have uh, two full squads to deal with any potential hostility. Hostilities? Hostilities. We will accept the survivors. We'll search this building that they were just in, apparently, because we can do that, and we'll send these guys back. Now, how long is it gonna take this? It's actually gonna take a decent amount of time to tear down this brick wall. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got some pathfinding issues. Okay, we're now, maybe they just wanted to stay close to us. Oh, don't worry, we're your bodyguard. Now, if this is the entrance point, how many unemployed people do we have? We have 11 unemployed people. If we have the resources for this, we do. I'm gonna build two wooden towers right here. In a strange way, this seems like this game was designed by like, a programmer. Not that that's a bad thing. All right, I wonder if we're gonna be able to build all three of these towers this morning. Or I guess this afternoon now. Okay, we've converted one into a house. We still have five unemployed people. Okay, we need to convert these to bow and arrow towers. We got two out of the three up. Okay, whoa, we've got a lunar cycle and a weather forecast? This is awesome. Okay, so it said that there's gonna be no zombies out there tonight, which is great and we probably could get some looting done, so I think we should take advantage of that. But something tells me that means tomorrow night is gonna be extra bad. So we'll scout out these buildings and then I think we're gonna search one of these. We've got fuel buildings right across the way. I really can't wait till we take this out and we find a car. Now food is relatively low, so maybe we'll go over to this restaurant or the coffee house to get extra amounts of food at least until we're able to create our own. Where are you guys going? Oh, we have this stupid tree I told them to chop down way over here. Well, you know what, it is what it is. Oh, okay. they're talking about infected animals? Like, hopefully not wolves and stuff. That would be bad. I'm gonna send two squads to check this food. The infected is in decline. It's IFZ. Is somebody, wait a minute, who's on the other end of this radio? The infected is in decline. Hello? All right, we're gonna switch channel. A local library university would be a good place to search for information on how to make it work. Let's go there. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is where the university is. And this is where our fortress is. That is quite a ways away. That might be a little bit of time till we get that going. Dang. I guess that's the bad part of being at the end of a peninsula at the end of a peninsula. Getting intellectual goodies. We're gonna need a car. I wonder what university this is. Teaching facility. Maybe this is University of Virginia. I mean, I don't know, man, you know? All right, we got some food there. If it's 2 p.m., do I really want to loot another building? Of course, I'm a loot goblin. That is what I do. All right, it is almost nighttime, so what I'm gonna do is move all of my squads to cover the three buildings that we've occupied where we have four towers to cover us, all of which are using bows and arrows. Oh my gosh, it's already nighttime, okay. Wait a minute, that's quite a few hordes, and it looks like this one is moving towards us, while the other one still seems to be scouting. Okay, now, oh look, we got ourselves a little bit of a D-Day situation. They got four guns. Oh, oh okay, that's, that's quite a bit of, oh, this is awesome. The towers are working, it's just there's so many zombies. If we had a tower with some Kalashnikovs in, are you kidding me? Look at this. This is a massive zombie D-Day. 
<laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Will you guys shoot at them? Whoa, why aren't you shooting? Why aren't you shooting? Get back inside. Why aren't they shooting? That doesn't make any sense. They all have pistols. The stance was fire at will in this building. Yeah, okay. We'll have two squads in there. So we'll be able to double up the fire, triple up the fire. Uh, this is working a lot better than I expected. When I saw how many zombies were coming to get us, I was genuinely worried if we were gonna survive. And now, no, ammunition crates are still doing decently well. Guys, the fact that we were able to find this bastion fortress in its location as it is, where the enemy has to cross water, get through stone walls, then through multiple towers, and then to our surviving squads of, we'll just call them surviving infantrymen. I mean, this, this is gonna be great. It's a trade-off. Yes, intellectual goods are way over here and it's kind of far and we don't even have a car yet, but my goodness. Wait a minute, no, 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 no. You better not destroy this wall section. I'm actually kind of curious. I have a hunch that the pathfinding is gonna have them walk all the way around and then through here, which I'm all for. In which case I might not want our guys to, can I cancel this? I'm gonna need to do that though, in case I wanna use a, a bridge, a, a bridge, a car. Yeah, that is what's happening. Uh, AI pathfinding fail, but I am here for it. And it looks like I could actually have all three in this house right here, guys. Just search Fort Monroe, Virginia and find this location. It is fantastic. Now all we need is a bastion fort that's next to a university, a hospital, and a supermarket. And it's a god tier start. I am wildly impressed. All right, these guys have been shooting all day. So I'm gonna send you back to the HQ where you can resupply an ammunition. Do you know what this place is gonna look like once we populated it? Now, eventually we're gonna probably have to monitor and occupy and defend multiple choke points, but I'm gonna put a wall here and then open this one up and just have multiple towers. And they're just gonna run down this isthmus and we are going to cut them down like chaff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is zombie survival using Bastion Star Fortresses. The kings of Napoleonic warfare, or at least defense. Look at this. So if you guys want to see more Infection Free Zone, we'll pull the trigger on that like button and let me know. Because I'm really, really enjoying this. Thanks for watching.